All right, hello Taurus. Um, I am here to do a bonus reading for you. You guys got the most views um, uh, this last month for readings, so thank you very much. I'm here to give you a little bonus um, general read, so take what resonates. You know the drill. Leave the rest, okay? Not your story. Um, but yeah let's go ahead and get to it and thank you so much thank you thank you so much i greatly appreciate you guys all right let's see taurus taurus a little bonus read what's going on heavenly father spirit guys and angels show me clearly taurus most high message Most high message for Taurus. All right. Thank you. All right. So at the bottom of the deck, we have moving forward. It's here for you, okay? And it says get ready for positive changes. Again, there's that energy here of, you know, coming in out of the cold. I'm getting uh, moving past, sorry, <laughs> moving past this, you know, kind of a depressive state, all that ice, okay? Because you've been enlightened. Look at that crown you have, okay? And you can do this because you're riding a bear. That's that's bravery right there, okay? You're you're. You got this, is what I'm hearing. Okay? The other card that came out for you is Peacock. Alright? And it says, raise your standards. Okay? Get in touch with your self-worth. Discover that for yourself. You are valuable. Okay? You are very valuable. And you are very much worth it. And, um... I'm hearing nothing but the best, okay? You have great abundance about you. Look at all those flowers, all right? And this could have to do with love. Those two peacocks, um, okay, there's two things they're showing me now. Those peacocks, they're in love, these two peacocks. You can see that, and, and they're embracing you, okay? But the one is a white peacock. You're, you're unique. Taurus, you're unique, okay? You don't give yourself as much credit for the beauty you have because I'm getting um, a Taurus that, you know, uh, wants to fit in, okay? Get outside the box, Taurus. You, you don't deserve, they don't, they don't deserve to have you in their box, okay? You're an original, all right? Embrace that. Come out of that, okay? Let's go see. Now, this is my deck that I read out of the book. So, let's see what it has for you. This is my favorite deck. <laughs> All right. Heavenly Father, Spirit, Guys, and Angels, show me clearly. Most high message for Taurus. Most high message for Taurus. Show me clearly. Most high message for Taurus. Show me clearly, please. Okay, show me clearly. Most high message for Taurus. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Exactly what I was saying. Okay, we got the take off your mask. And we got sadness, okay? The sadness is a number five. This is a challenge for you. Coming out of that depression, moving forward. <coughs> <coughs> wow. That came out of the blue. Somebody have a cold? <coughs> I think I just choked on my spit is what it was. Lovely. Anyway... Hi. <laughs> it's my seductive voice. <laughs> or creeper phone call. I don't know. <laughs> take it how it resonates. <laughs> All right. Oh, we got take off your mask. Okay? Take off your mask. It says you cannot get the love and attention that you are craving by pretending to be someone that you are not 
get out of that box. You don't belong. Okay? Um, it says, why are you so frightened to be honest with yourself and others? Do you feel that you will lose friends and opportunities by showing others your imperfections, fears, and vulnerabilities? No. Um, well, some of you might, but that's not the truth, okay? <laughs> uh, it says, are you constantly doing things to please others, even if doing this does not work for you? This card indicates that you need time to get to know yourself and what is important in your life. You will know that you are evolving when other people's judgments of you no longer impact you. If you have an incredible talent, believe in yourself. Don't hide your greatness because others feel envious or resentful. Remember, every great leader had people who loved them and believed in them as well as those who doubted and disliked them okay again you're that rare beautiful white peacock okay these cards are just confirming what I was just saying um, yeah the challenge for you is is this sadness this depression okay um, when you can truly allow yourself to cry and feel sorrow over the loss of a loved one, a lost opportunity, a broken heart, or a friendship that's ended, you cleanse your soul and allow your heart to heal. Crying and feeling vulnerable can be a sign of strength which demonstrates your connection to your body. To admit weakness can allow you to know yourself, embrace your limitations, and evolve. Be willing to let go of cold walls of protection that you have created which make you feel empty and sick. You don't need to get lost in your emotions. Just give yourself time to feel them and let them move through your whole being, cleansing and purifying your heart, body, and soul. Told you I love this deck. Told you I love this deck. It is an awesome deck. All right, let's see what else we get. Heavenly Father, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, show me clearly. Most high message for Taurus. Yeah, you're moving on from something. You, you've, you've gone within and, and did some studying. You're moving towards your happiness. Yeah, there's some emotional loss that I'm getting here, but nothing you can't handle because you're going to be triumphant. You're moving towards a victory. And there is heartache. It, it is difficult. It's not easy. But you are going to just totally grow. Okay? <clears throat> and I'm really getting that some of you are having a hard time speaking about this. Show me clearly. Taurus. Most high message for Taurus. Yeah, prosperity begins. There is this new opportunity here for you. Okay, you've planted that seed. Now you're waiting just to see it grow. Grow and be, be very prosperous. Okay, we have triumph here. All right, triumph. You got this. Okay, you're racing off towards a victory, chasing after your dreams. You're holding the red flag. Okay, this is... Um, yeah, this is just huge success. Okay, this is victory. You're chasing after your passion. Yeah. All right, and we got conflict and defeat. And this is a challenge for you because yet you're still in this energy of like, oh, I failed something. And, and Taurus, you didn't fail anything, okay? There was a lesson to be learned. Even in strong connections with people or whatever, there, there's lessons to be learned when, when they move away, okay? Their, their time in your story was up, okay? 
You learned what you needed to from them. Now you need to just recognize what it was that you learned and take that knowledge and move forward with it. Okay, because yeah, you you have not been defeated. No way, shape, or form. Mm -mm. That's what they, that's what I'm getting. You have not been defeated. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and you do struggle with the Look, you got the Prosperity Begins, and I just cut the deck here, and you got the Ace of Pentacles again. Yeah, and the Knight of Swords taking action. You're, you're racing off. That's like the Triumph here. All right, Heavenly Father, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, show me clearly. Most high message, recent past, current, and near future energies for the beautiful, handsome sign of Taurus. Show me clearly. Recent past, current, and near future energies for Taurus. Show me clearly. Recent past, current, near future energies for Taurus. Let's see what we get. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Cups. There's a possible opportunity coming in here that uh, you're not sure you're going to be taking. You don't know if this is the right one for you. You're so used to things being the way they are. Um, for others, Taurus, um, this, is a, this is a card of, you know, kind of healing I'm getting you know the divine is giving you gifts and you're you're yeah you're you're healing and during this time of healing you're not fully recognizing it you're doubting your worth very much doubting your worth okay overall energy we have the hermit introspection this is going within, taking a look at yourself, finding that desire, finding that passion, finding what it is that your life's path is so that you can get on it and, and go, okay? But you're kind of doubting yourself here. Yeah, with this Four of Cups. Hmm. Okay, well, we are going to clarify, but um, here in the recent past here, we have the Emperor, the Judgment card, and the Ace of Swords, okay? So, uh, here in the recent past, you, you very much bossed up, okay? You very much bossed up, and you took charge of an opportunity that was divinely given for you to do so, okay? And, and you, you became enlightened, okay? You, you took off. All right, it talks about taking off your mask. You you took off your mask and you showed your true self. You you showed your truth and you went for it. Okay? This is a transformation here. Okay? This was a big transformation for you. Two major arcana here in the recent past. In uh, the current energies, we have the Page of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and the World. All right? And this is the third major arcana. Um, but this Page of Pentacles, an opportunity has presented itself to you, and you feel so content. You're so happy. This, 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 um, this Ten of Cups just beams. I mean, you are so satisfied with your life right now in this moment okay that something has come to an end and you're starting again this is your next level of um evolving here ascending here in the uh, near future we have the nine of wands the Fool, okay, your fourth major, fifth major arcana. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, fifth major arcana. Huge transformation. Huge. But Spirit is telling you, 
You have the fool. You take this leap of faith and move towards something you want because that cycle has ended. You need to just let it go. And I think that's what you did back here. An opportunity presented itself for you to, once you took off that mask, be you and focus on you and your family and your happiness, if you have family, whichever, um, and in your happiness and, and you're very satisfied and you put an end to that and this whole new cycle began. Okay. And um, yeah, you bossed up. You know, the divine is like you, you had enough and you changed and they gave you opportunities. You discovered yourself. You are still discovering yourself. You are still evolving. And here in the near future, with that nine of wands, the fool and the seven of wands, um, you, you got this. You need to just keep going going okay the nine of wands is the wounded warrior yeah you're hurt yeah you know you're missing things from the past things that were once a a, a passion for you okay and um yeah you're I, i'm getting that you're like praying and and looking for direction i'm getting and um because you're 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 doubting you're doubting yourself you're doubting your abilities we definitely are going to find out what that is but you're taking this leap of faith regardless what the hell the outcome is you're going for it okay and um it's it's because you're you're worth fighting for you are you're going to fight for yourself for your own passions for your your own dreams okay or that of a family, you know, I'm, I'm getting for some of you. Okay, let's see. Heavenly Father, Spirit Guides and Angels, please clarify recent, past, current, and near future energies. Clarify, please, recent, past, current, and near future energies for Taurus. Show me clearly. Uh, Heavenly Father, Spirit, God, and Angels, why is the Hermit here? Why is the Hermit here? Why is the Hermit here for Taurus? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> We have the Six of Cups with the Knight of Swords taking action towards your towards your independence, towards your family. Okay. Um, yeah, you, you're you're learning lessons from the past here. Someone could be trying to come back from the past too. I'm getting for some of you. Um, but with this Hermit card, okay. Uh, we have the High Priestess, the Nine of Wands, and the Five of Wands, okay? Uh, there was a fight. There was a fight. And um, you pulled back with this Hermit energy. You pulled back. And you, you felt defeated. I don't know... <sighs> yeah, there was a fight between a few people. And this caused you great sadness. And you pulled back with this hermit card and you went within and discovered you know you 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 discovered what your part was and what it wasn't and and you realized here with the high priestess you know um my heart is very heavy right now um taurus you you realized that uh you were the higher person you took the higher road 
in the situation and you were doing what you felt was best, what your intuition was telling you was best, okay? <coughs> yeah, you, you had an inner knowing to a situation. But this fight is the number five here. This has been hard for you. This fight caused you that sadness. Okay? It caused you that sadness. And, um, but you started listening to yourself. You started listening to yourself. And when you felt like you couldn't go on anymore, you did. Okay? You did and you will still. Okay, the again the nine of wands is here twice for you. That's that's the spirit telling you, you got this. You can do this. Yeah, you you can do this. Let's see why the emperor is here. Why is the emperor here for Taurus? Ace of Wands, Two of Swords, and the Page of Coins. Yeah, you, you bossed up, okay? And you had love in your heart here, King of Cups, with the Ace of Cups, okay? And, and, and ending in, yeah, I, hmm. Very heavy, very very heavy energy, and I'm I'm so sorry, Taurus. I yeah, very much in your head. But oh, look who's speaking through that window, okay? Look who's in those thoughts, putting putting that blame, that doubt of self worth, okay? That's that's the devil. Don't listen to him. He's a fucking liar, okay? Seriously. Don't listen to him. Yeah. And you're coming out of it, though. Okay? It's, it's, this is almost over for you. And what's, what's there is the Nine of Cups, the Wish Fulfillment card, happiness, rejoicing, celebrating, because you took this action and went within okay and discovered and became enlightened as to to what's up here but yeah there is so much love an opportunity of loving of self i'm getting hugely you taurus the the king of cups is incredibly loving compassionate emotionally balanced happy Okay, their actions speak louder than their words, okay? When the King of Cups is, is involved, okay, they will show you that they love you. They may not say it, okay, all the time. They do say it, but uh, the King of Cups shows you. And I feel this is you. You show people. Yeah, this is Taurus's energy here, even though it's water, <laughs> okay, but yeah, this is Taurus. This is, uh, yeah, you're beginning to really love yourself, or you soon will be, really loving yourself, being compassionate to yourself, okay, taking it easy on yourself, and you're going to show yourself love through actions. Okay, because you are going after what it is that your heart desires. Okay, there was a um, an opportunity for a new creative beginning, a new passionate beginning. You know, something that you really believe in. Okay, and you bossed up and you took this opportunity. Huh. They just said that you, you took this opportunity by the balls, man. You you went for this. Yeah, and and you you learned that um, you 
No, this isn't you. No. Okay, how would you like to receive this? I get the energy that, that, okay, there's a couple things. If this is Taurus's energy, <clears throat> and I'm not talking, I know it's Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Okay, but, but if this is the energy that Taurus embraced, then what they are showing me is that you did some searching, you communicated, and that and decided to cut ties okay between two people okay yeah they're showing me that you have recently cut two important people okay um if if this is not your energy Taurus then this is two people spying on you okay and watching you boss up watching you standing up for yourself and moving towards following your passions and moving towards a victory here two stories I'm getting okay and we have the page of cups, or I mean, excuse me, the page of coins here. So something, something very precious was being offered here. A chance at something long term. And I'm getting that this has to do with changing, evolving, loving yourself, okay? And the universe said, good job. Here, here's this opportunity to do this should you take the challenge okay and that's when you took your mask off show me judgment for Taurus why is this here yeah okay I'm gonna put this back it was just flipped over but yeah there's heartbreak here there's sadness Show me Taurus, the judgment, this divine intervention, okay, yeah, have it, you know, feeling off balance, <clears throat> and there's the Knight of Cups, okay, offering your love, and I think you're going to start offering your love to yourself, getting out of your head, worrying about what other people think okay uh, Taurus you were a people pleaser and this this is hurting you not so much from the people but the fact that you felt judged by them that they're looking at you and and and, and speaking of you possibly spreading rumors and that um, and talking mad shit about you okay <clears throat> and it knocked you off balance and that because they were they were upset because you you got this message of passion within yourself this opportunity this offer to chase this passion yourself okay and uh, yeah you're working really hard and I get that you're working together with like a, a group of people creating something wonderful okay now this group of people could you know be at a work situation or whatever but this could just be your soul tribe too okay the ones that you know are there for you creating something beautiful yeah yeah because there you are looking at your creation like wow okay and this is what you deserve there is a decision to be made there, but you, you did. You took off after your passion. You grabbed that wand and split. Show me this Ace of Swords. And they just showed me this too, okay? It looks like he's looking in a mirror. 
What's on his face? A mask. You chose. You chose to take that mask off. You chose to take it off. And now you're showing your true self, Taurus. Now you're showing your true self. Show me this Ace of Swords, please, for Taurus. And I'm hearing that you're being kind of judgy of yourself. I need to be this. I need to do that. I look at this, you know, and being picky. Don't do that. You're a perfection before you started. Yeah, there's some things that you might want to do, but, you know, be compassionate of yourself through the process. Okay. Uh, bottom of the deck, the world. Yeah, a whole new cycle has ended and you are embracing love. And I tell you what, those people are really pissed off that you left them in the dust, that you walked away. That you took on this king of energy, or excuse me, this king of wands energy here. And you're becoming self-made. The king of wands follows their passion. Nobody gets in their way. And they... Uh, are they come from nothing up to something they used to be a peasant now they're a king yeah and and somebody is there with you helping you together two kings side by side that's that's who's helping you create okay yeah someone long term Okay, so you took off your mask here. You stood you stood high on your own. It took a long time. You, you've been at this a long time. It was like, give or take, what do I do? You know, uh, I believe you came to another, you know, this is another card of, of, of waiting, patience. Um, it's also a card about decisions. Do I stay, do I go? Do I let this plant continue to grow or do I pull it? You know, um, and that you chose happiness, this new beginning, family, abundance. Yeah, and you're standing there pre-empress here. You're, you're, you're standing here in your truth. <clears throat> and a whole new cycle is opening for you. Heavenly Father, Spirit, Guide, and Angel, show me the Page of Pentacles. Why is this here for Taurus? Why is this here for Taurus? Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Show me clearly. Yeah, the Emperor again. The Two of Cups and the Temperance. Okay. Three of Cups on the bottom. Eight of Coin and the Tower. And the Death card. That ending for a new beginning. Yeah, you became enlightened here. And then there's the Empress. Okay. But now you're kind of worried about your decisions you made. But don't be. Okay, don't be. Follow that passion. Nobody tells the Queen of Wands not to. <clears throat> or that she can't. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you've worked long and hard to, to get away from this. But something disrupted this situation here recently. Uh, or currently, I should say, this page of pentacles brought a brought a, an opportunity for reliability, stability. Okay, you started going after it here with this emperor energy. Okay, the emperor again ruling empires. Nobody tells the emperor that they're they're not good enough. Um, nobody tells the emperor that they can't do something. They just do it. Okay. Um, and we have the two of cups here. This is this is a divine partnership. Could be love, could be work, whatever. But there's a decision to make about a, a, a soulmate I'm getting here with the temperance card. Soulmates could be lovers, friends, family, whatever. But uh, soulmates... Um, People get them confused. They they think, oh, this person is my soulmate. Therefore, we must be together till death do us part. No, that's not the case. You are with this person until you learn a lesson from them. Okay? Until you learn a lesson. 
You you were not happy before. You put the work into yourself and you suddenly discovered that something's got to give. Okay, something's got to give so that you could be you. Okay, Taurus, uh, male, female, doesn't matter. Mother, father, doesn't matter. But this is a power couple here. All right, this is this is abundance, nurturing, creation. Okay, this is all the queens together in one. The empress, like the emperor, ruling empires. Nobody, nobody tells them or her she can't. She's not good enough. Um, she knows her worth. She doesn't doubt it. She it's not even questioned. You don't question the empress. <laughs> Okay, off with your head, I'm getting, you know. Um, but yeah, let's see. In divine time here, you're going to get balance from this situation that you bossed up towards, okay, that you stood your ground for, okay. Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? I think overall you are very content. Okay, you are very content, but you need to be compassionate with yourself. You're missing someone and you have some regrets, okay? She's holding her heart here. You're, you're missing someone terribly. Uh, but we have the star card here, the king of swords and the king of pentacles. <clears throat> You're, you're feeling pretty content here. Um, you, you're getting enlightened, okay? And this is a card of wishing and hoping. But it's also a card of balance and healing, okay? And listening to that intuition, okay? You're, and you have so much emotion and love that it, it's pouring out. You, you have extras. You, you spread love wherever you go. This is a very beautiful card for this reading here. Okay, uh, the King of Swords, they, they go after the truth. They, they go after what they want and they'll cut anybody out that gets in the way, okay? King of Pentacles is someone who's very good with money, okay? Maybe has a lot of money. Somebody who also is very intuitive and knows things and trusts their gut. Okay, and um, I think that I think that this is a relationship that you were already in. For many of you, this is that divine connection. Okay, the 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 divine brought you two together so that you could grow so that you could heal and you could become this power couple i'm getting this is still in the stages of evolving but taurus i really feel that you are going to just continue to to just grow. I mean, you're going to take off here. You kind of already have. Um, yeah, after healing and that, um, you see, he's he's healing this, this soldier and that so that he can become that Knight of Swords again, the fastest moving card in the deck, taking action, going after the money, okay? Yeah, here's the Queen of Swords. You know, you know the truth. You're going to communicate the truth. There is going to be communication about this heartbreak, this this regret here. There's going to be communication about it. And they better come to you. They better come to you with the truth when they, when they bring it. Because you will cut them out. Okay, your, your wheel of fortune has changed, okay, and it's for the best because it's got the Ten of Cups right here, okay, Ten of Cups, happily ever after. Alright, let's see this world card here. 
Let's see this world card. Two here. Yeah. This is justice. This is temperance. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> look, the angels are shouting down. Finally. Have you seen the flags? The red flags? Do you see them? Okay. You don't deserve that. You deserve this. Knowing that you are worth fighting for. You're feeling very defensive here with this new cycle. This new change. But with... with the judgment and the justice card here again judgments here twice okay you deserve this you deserve this you are worthy and they're like shouting out can you hear me now okay. and here's this you know you you are worth fighting for yeah and you may have some struggles here you know you're you're very guarded you're very guarded protecting yourself possibly uh saving up holding back you're, you're, you're also holding on to something from the past or someone that you you're trying to let go your thoughts are hold, keeping you held to this person and that's why you're in such a sadness show me this nine of wands Yeah, you know, this is uh, this is also that standing your ground energy too. You you deserve this path that you have chosen. And some of you, Taurus, are doubting. Again, doubting. Did I do the right thing? I, I miss my friends. I miss my whoever, my ex. Um, yeah, no. They're saying fight for yourself fight for yourself. What happened here when this cycle changed was justice for you. Okay? Justice for you. It was what you deserved. Okay? Now you need to defend it. Stay strong. Okay? They're not on your level. Look, you're up on a mountain. Okay? You're up on a mountain. They're down below you. They're not even worthy yet. But you're you're worrying. You're, you're thinking about whatever this was. Whoever this fight was with. Like I said, I get the feeling it was with two people. Stamina. Nine of Wands. Why is this here? Yeah. You, you have... Okay. You're, you're holding on. to the past something that was out of balance okay and you need to cut this you gave more to the relationship okay you were dealing with takers all right they did not do near for you as you did for them they just didn't whoever this was okay they were greedy they were greedy and they took you all the time they used your energy they used your vibrance they yeah they just were energy suckers and this is the card of stamina you 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 can do this you know your worth and you will cut out whoever gets in your way you know your value you are enlightened to the truth you can do this or the fool. Yeah, and it looks like you're going to and take this leap of faith. You don't realize how brave and how strong you are. Yeah, and the wheel of fortune is turning. Look at that. Yeah, you take that leap of faith and and all those knives and swords that were stabbed into your back, all the past and that hurt and those negative thoughts and stuff they go away you're leaving those behind because your wheel of fortune has turned okay and you're going for home life happy ever after
contentment. And you're working hard on this. You, you, you've worked a long time. Yeah, and you got enlightened to this. The universe just shot that bolt of lightning down and enlightened you. It's like, oh, that's why I did this. That's why I had to go through that. Okay, that's why I had to be wrong the foundation, okay, you take action towards the victory, towards the triumph, yeah, and you're just sitting waiting, be patient, waiting, because your prosperity, that shit is coming, and it's not right quickly, okay, and people are going to be pissed, oh well, oh well, because you're, you're going after your path. faith. You want that emotional stability. Walking away from all the crap that doesn't work. And another cycle begins. Wow. On here. Let's see this. Uh, seven of Wands for Taurus. Please. Seven of Wands. This was an intense reading. Wow. Okay, so uh, here's bravery, something that you may don't see coming here. Yeah, is that, that what you are doing by taking that leap of faith, you are embracing love. You are embracing stability here. You are setting up a possible legacy here. This is what you're praying for. Okay? This is what you're praying for. Okay? For some of you, there's going to be possible reconciliation here. Again, you might be going back with one or two of those people from the past. Some of you, you just don't see this coming. It's kind of It's, they want me to go and do something here. It, it, it's kind of an illusion. Okay. Okay. How many cards are It's qualify. Or excuse me, qualify. What are these queens? For me here. For Taurus. What are these queens here? This is Queen of Cups. Tell me the Queen of Cups. Who is this Queen of Cups? Queen of Cups. Okay, this is a, a karmic relationship. Okay, it says fleeing triggers turmoil, resentment, lessons learned, letting go, and loving yourself. Queen of Coins. Who is Queen of Coins? Okay. These two, the chaser and the cards. I'm getting this one automatically before I start to read it. Uh, Delta Raw deal. Okay. It's taking a chance, a risk. You're being strategic. There's options, not showing the hand, gambling. And um, the chaser. The chaser is codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. Okay. This would be you or them. You take it. How it resonates, but at the bottom is ascending. Okay, so this is transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, a new phase, um, preparing for a, a union. Now, uh, yeah, karmic relationships are um, lessons. This uh, like very much like you know the, the soulmate in that now. Uh, this this Queen of Cups is somebody very loving, very compassionate. This is also the Cups, the water sign, so Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, possibly. Uh, this Queen of uh, 
pentacles. Um, this is earth energy here. This is a Capricorn for, um, Virgo and Taurus. So this is this is you. You're, you need to, to heal. Somebody's going to come back uh, again. And what it is, you need to let go and love yourself, is what it says here in the cards. But, um, yeah, you're growing, you're ascending. You don't need to chase anybody. You don't need to chase it. Whatever's meant to be yours, it, it will be. Okay? It will. Somebody's, somebody's, maybe somebody has reached out already to you, and that's what you are walking away from here. So be communicating. Let me see who this Queen of Swords is. Tell me about this Queen of Swords from Taurus. I really think it's you. Communicating, somebody trying to communicate, somebody being guarded. Okay, if this person is the one that comes back, yeah, heartbroken, uh, and the snake. Okay, so heartbroken, deeply hurt, so uh, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and pain. All right, and then it says competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other one. And at the bottom of the deck is keys on a ring. This is, uh, you have many options, decisions. This is or this person who are uh, unconventional, string along, night stand underneath that. Not today, not today. Hurt, avoiding a conversation, a call, a person still angry, setting boundaries. And then it says seduction. It says uh, attraction, flirtation, hooking up, temptation, and third party interference. <laughs> you know, uh, Taurus, um, there's not a, a reader out here worth a damn that will tell you what to do. Okay? This is tarot. This is your food. For thought. All right, we have free will. We can do whatever we want to do. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I have just provided some information. I, I I'm feeling not. I keep keep searching. I'm feeling this sadness. I'm feeling this conflict. This confusion. And I strongly feel that you are soon to be faced with this person that uh, you, you fought with. Maybe two. There, there's two here that I'm getting. Uh, I'm strongly feeling that they're coming back. You just as you started doing you and doing so good. Maybe they're, again, spying. <laughs> okay, I got that energy. This was confusion. This was either yours or theirs. But I think it's kind of a combination of both. You know, you're, you're cutting out whatever gets in your way, you know, but yet this is uh, people spying on you and, and, and uh, they're, they're not happy. They're not happy. They're, they're very upset to see you doing so good, to see you in just a short amount of time, you know, being so happy with family, doing things. Jealous is crazy. The energy for jealousy is crazy because you're a star. You're a star. You're healed. You're balanced. All this is good. You're standing here doing what is right. The universe says it's right, and that's defending yourself. People are not on your level. Okay? Not, not yet. And this is going to be very hard for you. I'm, I'm feeling this because you were... You dropped everything to do for others, and nothing has changed, okay? 
nothing has changed. These people are still greedy. These people are takers. They're still greedy. But you standing up and and ending all the negative thought towards yourself and focusing on your family and your happiness, you have you have not only new beginnings, but you have the wheel of fortune here. Now these these and we have two here. One is you and one is them. So, uh, but we have three on the bottom pole in the near future. Okay, so uh, at least one is coming back, possibly two. Now this queen, this is the queen of swords. Okay, so uh, the only queen that's missing here is fire. Okay, so the queen of swords, that's Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy. In case this might help you figure out who's who, what, what. Otherwise, truthfully, it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to give you as much info because I feel it here. Okay. So, uh, we got everybody but um, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Okay. No fire signs. These. Yeah. And this is like a mom here. This is. Okay. I don't know what else I can say. I, just, I feel so bad. I went in here to this reading so excited for you guys and trying to be nice and stuff and I just feel this this heartbreak. But I do see tremendous growth. So kudos to you for that. Okay. Let me clear my only father guy and angel. Any more messages, any advice for Taurus before I end this reading. Yeah, I'm just sitting here in the energy of like wow. You know, sit here, embrace it, figure it out. You gotta move forward from it, that's for sure. You gotta race. You gotta race towards a victory. You got prosperity and, and victory all over the place. You're doing what's best for you. Don't let these energy suckers pull you back. But this is up to you. I'm not saying do it. I don't know the full situation. I'm just reading energy off the card. And that's what any tarot reader does. Okay? So don't let any tarot reader tell you for sure this is what you must do. Okay? This is what you must do. This is what has to be done. No. I can just show you. I can show you. But the choice is up to you still. That's why I was trying to get so much more information for you. So you knew. Or, you know, that's, yeah, okay. So, you yeah, have in the near future, somebody's help you reconsider, okay? And it's no, it's, it's not happening at the bottom. Happening. Meditation brings answers. Ask for help from others. Don't stop being you. Okay? You should shine bright like a diamond. Okay? You're heading towards success. Okay? For some of you, you can find a compromise with this person, me, or persons. But uh, it, it's not ever going to be the same again. I can tell you that. Definitely are bossing up. Uh, so if you do decide to go back, then uh, definitely you set your boundaries. You set your boundaries and you protect yourself. Um, not from like physical, but I'm talking about further emotional hurt uh, being being used. You protect yourself from that. All right, Taurus, that's what I have. I hope it resonates, and I I wish you. Love and light and the best of everything. And um, thank you so much for being my number one viewer. <laughs> Alright. So, y'all take care and we'll see you next time. Okay. Don't forget to like and
and subscribe. <laughs> okay.